I'm very excited to announce a new feature coming to card flows that we have called field control. Let me show you what field control is and how it's going to benefit your e-commerce experience for your buyers. So here we have a typical checkout form. We've got field labels. The fields are in a certain order and up and then you have the different column structures. So here you have three fields in a column and up to now there was no easy way to change this and have full customization and control. But with this new field control feature that we're giving to all CartFlows Pro customers, you're going to have total control to arrange the fields the way you want, to change the field labels, to change the placeholder text, and to set up those column structures. It is super easy, and I'm going to show you how to do it right now in this video. Hey, but don't forget, if you want to know when new videos like this are up to show you the new features that are out with card flows, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell. Let's jump into it. Okay, so here you saw the form, but here is the back end and here's the checkout step. So let me go in there and show you the new field control in action. So we're going to click on checkout fields right here. And you've always had these three options, but now when you click on this box here that says enable custom field editor, you're going to see it looks a little different. So here are the fields and you can click into any one of them by clicking on the arrow here on the right. And you can see you can choose the field width, field label, the default value, the placeholder, and if you want this to be required or not. Okay, let me collapse it. So you see that and we can rearrange and a perfect example of why you'd want this ability to rearrange these fields is for some reason WooCommerce just ask for the email address last. I think that should be bumped up to the top right underneath the name. We're asking for that email address as soon as possible. So you saw right here for the first name, it's set to a field width of 50%. The options are default, 33, 50, and 100. So first name is 50. And if you look at last name, you're going to see the last name is 50. And this is why the first name and the last name is in the same row. So if we wanted to have the email in the same row, we would set this to 33, this to 33, and the email to 33. Uh, we should actually just do that here just to demonstrate. So I'm going to go 33. I'm going to go 33. And right here, I'm going to go 33, just like that. And I'll update this in a moment. Now, for any field that you do not want visible, you do not need, like company name, you can just click on the little I, and now that field will be hidden. If you want it back, just click on the I again. It's that simple. And don't forget, down here, you can create custom fields and have all these same controls over these custom fields. So if there's something specific that you want to ask your buyer at the very beginning, you can ask them in a custom field and rearrange by dragging that custom field up to the top. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to click on Update right here, and then I'll go to the front end, and I will click on Refresh, and you're going to see that now the first name, last name, and email address are all on the first line using the brand new field control feature that just came out to cart flows. I can't wait to see the way that you guys use this to make the buying experience so much easier on your sales funnels for your buyers. We're excited to bring these new features to you. We have so many more in the pipeline. Remember, subscribe, notification bell if you want to know as soon as these new features are released. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.